The salvage feature is really trying to cater to people who want the diversity and exploration type gameplay. You might find debris fields of a long lost battle or on your discovery tour you find a destroyed ship. I'm excited about players playing this and salvaging wrecks of ships in the PU. So right now when you destroy a ship, that's kind of it. So that's where that's where salvage comes in, where we sort of extend the life of the spaceship. We want you to be able to find destroyed versions of these, look at them in, in ways you would never have seen them before and have this extra gameplay with them. There are different aspects of salvage that we want to introduce to the game. And the very first one that we will have is the hull scraping which is where you blast off the uh, external surface of the ship uh, and sell that material for profit. Hull stripping right now is split into two parts. We have the FPS side and you have the, the vehicle side. So in vehicle hull scraping, uh, this will be for the Vulture and the Reclaimer, where you take your great big salvage lasers and you take off as much of the material as you can. Uh, for the Vulture, it's very easy. You are the only person. It's the lone wolf wolf ship. You can go out, explore, find find wrecks just by yourself. Uh, best catering to the smaller types of wrecks you would find. In the Vulture, you activate the, the salvage mode, which uh, then allows you to use the scraper beams to operate them over the surface area of the ship and gather the material. For the Reclaimer, we highly recommend you to, to come in a group. You want probably at least two people to man the salvage lasers uh, and a few people in the back of the cargo bay to help you stash away uh, your earnings. You'll go out, you'll find a wreck, turn on the great big front lights of the Reclaimer so you can see what you're doing, and the two people in the salvage turrets will start blasting away at the hull to strip it off. As that happens, you're gathering uh, what we call RMC, Recycled Material Composite Material, which gets put into cargo boxes in the filler stations that are in the back of the Reclaimer. And you'll need someone back there to take these full crates out of the dispenser and stack them away on your cargo grid. And once you have your cargo hold full, you fly to the station where you then can sell the commodity. The FPS loop in, in comparison is much simpler. You just buy a Grey Cat multi tool, you make sure that you buy the salvage attachment, you make sure that the salvage attachment is actually attached to the Grey Cat multi tool, and this is the moment where you can scrape off any material that is salvageable right away. We also want to allow you to use that material that you gain from hull scraping to immediately repair any damage your ship might have taken. This is really useful for people who are out dogfighting, perhaps. You shoot down your opponent, go out with your multi-tool, take the hull off their ship and put it back on yours to repair the damage. You will see where on your own ship you have repaired. So you're kind of getting this battle scarring of your ship. So right now, both the FPS and ship hull scraping has progressed very nicely, but there's still a long ways to go with regards to selling the material. We've got a lot of VFX and audio tweaks to do along the way. We want to fully refine the user experience. I'm really excited to see this feature hit the verse. Uh, I think it'll be yeah, great to, to watch everyone taking people's ships apart. And yeah, it'll be, be a lot of fun. Hull scraping isn't just the first version of salvage gameplay coming to Star Citizen. It's the feature necessary to finally bring the upcoming Drake Vulture to the persistent universe. Let's check it out now and see what it looks like very close to its final form. If you really want to try something different, something new, something that hasn't been in Star Citizen before, the Vulture is going to be where you want to go. Salvage is new and it's kind of fun and it's exciting. 
I've been going around and just burning the sides of ships, and it's really fun to kind of experience this new type of gameplay. The Vulture is a single-seater salvage ship uh, meant for a single player to kind of get into the salvage career. Basically, um, extracting and processing, you know, things that you find out in the verse, uh, be it space debris or, you know, uh, junk or anything like that. On a profession ship, I'm mostly just setting it up as a ship to be flown and making sure all of the components are there, all of the functionality for all of the other interactables are there, make sure that they can get cargo. There's also the aspect of setting up all of the things that the salvage work is going to be done with. So, I mean, uh, you know, we took our styling cues from previous Drake ships and uh, Drake has a very distinctive style. The first thing that will be very distinct that when you uh, see it at first will be these two arms that sort of jettison out the front. We had to set up these little kind of turrets that would be used to articulate while the salvaging is happening. There are two ways to enter, one from the side, you climb up a ladder and then you can access the cockpit. Much like a combine would or a construction vehicle has a basic looking style ladder which kind of adds to the whole look of the construction vibe and everything and and also like it helps with a sense of scale in the ship i think or you can go through the back with a ramp and then you'll access the cargo hold from the cargo hold you can go through a door and then climb up a ladder and then you'll have like a personal kind of storage area All throughout the ship on the inside, there's going to be a lot of component access. And then to your right, and you walk in through, uh, through another door, and then there's the habitation area. There'll be like a small bed, a toilet. And then behind you, you got the whole body of the ship and, you know, the cargo and all that, the whole processing area. Persistent Universe gameplay, a lot of it relies on, you know, sort of trading things and salvaging things, right? So you can uh, earn credits. Uh, so this will be a very good tool to, to do just that. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that hull scraping is the exciting beginning of our salvage gameplay journey. The next step in bringing purpose and intention to the enormous reclaimer, the nascent development of handheld repair gameplay and the feature that finally allows us to bring the Drake Vulture to the Persistent Universe. <clears throat> now remember that Talk Like a Pirate celebration begins today, and there's all kinds of things to do. A uh, pirate swarm is back, there's a screenshot contest, the Siege of Orison be returning, with new fixes that we'll be talking about next week, there's new paints in the shop, and this isn't so much Talk Like a Pirate as it is Talk Like Robert Newton in the 1950s classic Treasure Island. And, and I, 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 sh I should really stop. Uh, for Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. We'll see you all next week. And there's all kinds of things to do in the Pirate Swarm. The Pirate Swarm is back. So look at me. <laughs> Trying to do the pirate voice. Yes. Yar.